Hello, my name is Keith Doles. This is my exhibit, The Street Series Retrospective at FSCJ North Campus. And just to give you a background about, about the Street Series, actually it was inspired by the Harlem Renaissance and an exhibit that I did with some local Jacksonville artists called the Jacksonville Consortium of Afri African American Artists. And those pieces were inspired by you know, writers and poets and visual artists from the 1920s. And you can see behind me, uh, these, these paintings here, they were inspired by uh, Archibald Mockley. And his work uh, featured uh, self-portraits and very colorful uh, illustrative characters that uh, lived the nightlife, so to speak, in, in nightclubs and art galleries and such. And this piece here, titled The Nightlife, was inspired by uh, Motley's palette, which had very light, uh, very bright colors, very bright reds, uh, blues, you can see this here uh, in the background. Uh, but, this, but this piece here, uh, painted acrylic on paper, and used a, a medium called gel medium, which is a thickener for acrylic paints. And what helps give it this uh, texture that you can see in the background, especially in these uh, dark to light uh, paints, and also here in these blues in the background. It helps uh, create uh, this textured image that kind of gives uh, some of the, the highlight here from the moonshine on the buildings here. So in 2004, I officially started the Street Series 1. And with the series, they were inspired by my childhood memories. I grew up with my grandmother and my dad. And I spent a lot of time with my grandmother when we used to take uh, bus trips with her church group. And in one a trip in particular was a trip to Marineland. And this piece, the bus stop, uh, inspired, was inspired from that scene. And we used to uh, go, down, go downtown and catch the bus, or we would take a, uh, a bus that would come uh, to the church and we would all go on trips. And so the figures here aren't people in particular, but uh, they just reminded me of some of the folks that we would see when we would stand and wait for the bus downtown. The barber shop, uh, this, is, this scene was inspired uh, from the Sutel barber shop where my dad and I used to go. And this is me here in the background. And I was always fascinated with uh, the posters on the wall or pictures. And I used to, used to drink a, a Dr. Dr. Pepper when I was in the barber shop. So this was inspired uh, from that. And again, just like with the, the original Harlem Renaissance inspired pieces, I used a gel medium with the acrylics to give the textured look, but also uh, give the figures an illustrative look, as you can see here. And in the summertime, we would go to the Beaver Street Farmer's Market. And in this illustration here, uh, I'm with my cousins and my grandmother, and we're going down through the market. And again, uh, with the previous pieces, I used the acrylic with the gel medium to give uh, the texture that you can see in some of the buildings in the background. In 2007, I did uh, the Street Series 2. And Street Series 2 focused more on the economic recession that was happening at the time. Uh, there was a housing collapse. Also, there were issues with uh, Wall Street and such. And so with Series 2, uh, there was there's some pieces that talked about uh, people losing their jobs or people working uh, for minimum wage or less than minimum wage. But they're also, uh, were also inspired by uh, memories of me growing up in the north, on the north side. Uh, with The Waitress, uh, this, this piece here is, was inspired a little bit by Man, one of Manet's uh, portraits where uh, he's sitting at the counter and the, and the waitress or the bartender, so to speak, uh, came to take his order. And so here, uh, the technique is a little different than Series 1, where in Series 1, it focused more on the Harlem Renaissance and using uh, different mediums. But here, I'm, I'm painting on masonite, which is uh, a hardwood, almost like a hardwood panel. And you can see some of the grain in the masonite here. Also, it also gives that canvas feel, if you can see up close into the picture. I'm also using, still using acrylics, 
but here there's more there's less of an illustrative feel to it and I wanted the attention to be on the waitress here to look at especially the expression on her face and also um, the gesture of her body and so hopefully you can imagine yourself sitting here at the counter this is the court and it was inspired by this large uh, basketball court that was uh, in my neighborhood when I was growing up. And in my neighborhood, I was one of the youngest kids and there was always uh, teenagers who were probably uh, about three or four years older than I was. And I would either play with the big kids or stay on the sidelines and watch. But this was just inspired from uh, those memories. And I just remember the basketball hoop never had a net on it but you know, it didn't stop the guys from playing. And again, this piece was painted on masonite, and it's on the side where you can see some of the grain or, or those fibers coming through, so it looks like it's painted on canvas. What's different about this piece versus uh, the waitress is that I did use a little bit of the gel medium, and what the gel medium does, it gives it an impasto look, or it gives a kind of a, an oil painting look where it's almost like you can take a knife and you can spread it. And you can spread it, you can give it a little bit of texture. So I did that here with the tree in the background and a little bit on this tree here. And sometimes if you want to add detail on a surface like this, which if you're painting on a rough side, you can eliminate uh, some of the, the masonite just by taking a palette knife or any knife that you have, and you can go over certain areas where you can give it a smoother look. All right, this is Street Series 3, and it started in 2009. And what inspired uh, Street Series 3 was I started going to the downtown art walks, and I was, and there was one show in particular where I walked by the old public library, and there was an art event going on, and I just saw all these electric colors in the evening, some greens, some purples. So behind me here is Art Walk, and one of the uh, fantasies that I have is that you see artists in painting or drawing or playing music, and I still have those colors in my head. So you can see here with the man playing uh, the instrument, you can see some of those electric greens and you even see some of the greens in his face. And it just kind of, uh, especially in my mind, I can see the people illuminated by those electric light colors that I saw at Art Walk. But something I always wanted to see, and I didn't see it until uh, recently, is that now there are artists who are doing plein air painting, which is uh, painting on site outdoors. But they were doing it at night. And so even though this piece was painted in 2009, I'm happy to see uh, six years later that artists are actually doing that at Art Walk. This piece is called The Plaza, and this was inspired by uh, going to uh, certain parks in either here in Jacksonville or in another community, and from time to time you might see a homeless person, and this one in particular, I saw a homeless veteran uh, who had a sign like this, and what I noticed is that uh, people notice him, but not really notice him. They just kind of walk away and ignore him. And this piece uh, in particular, I used uh, an earth tone palette. And earth tones are muted colors like browns and, and blacks and grays. And I just wanted to use that for a background, which, uh, which is very different from uh, the art walk, which is very bright, very colorful. But here, I wanted to create a somber uh, feeling towards it especially uh, with the people here, and you can't uh, see their faces. This piece is called The Breakup, and this happened when I did a show at the Jacksonville International Airport. And the short story about it was that I was at the event, and I had my sketchbook, and I was just drawing most of the people that were coming by, just doing some uh, gesture drawings. And one scene that caught my eye was uh, this couple here, they were in an argument, and she was very emotional, she was very animated, waving her arms, and the guy, he kept that particular pose the entire time, just shrugging his shoulders and his head just getting lower and lower. So in the end, 
uh, she grabbed her luggage and went uh, through the terminal. And the man here, he finally turned and walked out of the airport. And just as this was happening, uh, this this couple over here, uh, this soldier, you know, he came through the terminal and he met up with his uh, girlfriend or his wife. So uh, just captured, you know, the two scenes going on, just giving it that, that contrast. And the color, uh, you can see, you know, she's, you know, very emotional. Uh, very upset, and I wanted to highlight that uh, in her flesh and also the clothing. And the same thing uh, with the man here, you can see he has a, has a very uh, dark red in his face, and even um, you can see some expression in his mouth. And then the couple, the happy couple over here, uh, they're in a tight embrace, very bright colors. You can, you can even see uh, the camouflage uh, in his uniform. In 2010, uh, I started Street Series 4, which dealt more with the uh, economic recession and also uh, some personal events that happened in my life. And this one in particular, uh, street music, was inspired uh, by the, in the, during the time when I was an adjunct professor. And when I would teach, go to my classes, I would take I-95 to J. Turner Butler and at rush hour between 5 and 6 p.m., uh, there's heavy congestion. Cars can't move at all. They're almost parked. So uh, in this piece, this is uh, one of the ramps here at I-95. And to highlight that congestion, I took a piece of the paper and just glued them on top of each other. And they're called collage. And to talk a little bit about the technique of collage, uh, you can use uh, glue mixed with water. You can use a substance called Mod Podge. And for this piece, I use Mod Podge, which is basically a watered-down glue. And you just take the, the Mod Podge and just simply with a brush or a sponge, you can go over uh, any of the pieces here and just lay them flat. You can use your hand or you can use a brush. And also, as you create that that effect that you have uh, with uh, perspective, this perspective here. I printed out a small copies of the cars in the background and large uh, prints of the cars in the foreground. So you can get that feeling of, you know, you have the cars here and they're coming down this ramp. But this is what I used to see uh, every day for two years. Also in Street Series 4, I also I painted my self-portrait. And this scene here kind of illustrates my life from high school up to college. And you can see this is, this is how I see myself as a construction worker, uh, breaking down the foundation or laying down the foundation. And these are the roads that I traveled to get to the point where I am. And the buildings here, starting from the ground up, I used a collage and just took out a uh, piece of the paper from uh, invitations or copies from uh, my high school diploma, the degree I received, and just used that to create uh, the building here. And again, I like to use uh, very bright colors, a so simple palette, uh, to give uh, the feel or the emotion of the piece. So as you can see here, I have I uh, cut out uh, pieces from uh, art exhibits, uh, some articles from newspapers, and the building here isn't complete, so uh, there's still much more to go here. Okay, again, from Street Series 4, this is Suburbia, and this was inspired by uh, the tent cities. And what tent cities are, they're uh, communities created by homeless people, and some people prefer not to live in shelters because of security reasons or they feel like they can uh, make do on their own. So this, this piece in particular is about a tent city in California where basically you have uh, residents who live under uh, overpasses under an interstate. And I use uh, the collage again to highlight uh, things that happened during the economic recession um, 
and in particular there are articles about banks, uh, mortgages, uh, people uh, losing their jobs and wages, and all this culminates together with the tent city. So finally in series four, uh, this is probably my favorite piece, it's called Walk, and this was this is an illustration of different ethnic groups, uh, different people of working class just coming together, so to speak, and they're not really you know, looking at each other, but they're kind of walking past each other. And this is something I used to see all the time when I would drive through downtown Jacksonville. And I thought this would make an awesome uh, mural, and someday I hope to paint a mural uh, much larger than, than this someday. And one thing I noticed after I finished it was that in the background, you know, I had the red, white, and blue, like our American flag. So maybe it was just one of those subconscious things that uh, I picked up on while I was working on the piece. And here uh, I used, uh, I went back to the gel medium and to give it uh, the sheen and the texture, but I wanted to bring out uh, some of the flesh tones in uh, some of the young people's faces and also some of the clothing. And this piece has been shown in uh, several galleries here in Jacksonville. And now I, I'm a freelance graphic designer at Biomed Microfixation. And they saw this piece at the Haskell Gallery at the airport. So my employer, uh, they, saw this, they saw this piece and they wanted a copy of it in their office. So if you ever get the chance to go to Biomed Microfixation, uh, you can see uh, a large print of Walk in the lobby. In 2011, I decided to uh, break from the large uh, street series, and I did a series called Street Corners, which are uh, lighthearted versions of the street series. And you can see behind me, uh, they're 8 by 10, and they usually don't have uh, figures in them, but just capture uh, small scenes around downtown Jacksonville. And this piece in particular was inspired by one spark. And you can see on the pavement here, I drew or painted uh, small circles, which were uh, almost like symbols of the, of the one spark logo. And I also have a tent here in the park. And also there's collage here in the background with the uh, canvases on easels and also uh, the people in the background. Most of the collage that you see here in the uh, street corner paintings were from my own photography, especially in Skyways. In Skyways, this is a scene that's near the Prime Osborne Center, and this is a photo of the Skyway down in Jacksonville. Now again, uh, I'm always looking ahead, and so I'm hoping at some point in the future, instead of one uh, Skyway Rail, we have several of them that would go to different sections of town. So this is a blank canvas and this is another self-portrait. And this is, this is myself uh, starting a mural very early in the morning. And this piece uh, reminded me of when uh, I used to paint, go out and paint with other artists and we would go to uh, places downtown or places in Nassau County where we would paint murals either on the outside of the building or paint a wall uh, inside of their office. And I just remember we would get up uh, very early in the morning, probably between 6.30 and 7 a.m. And down the bottom, again, I uh, have the collage. And these pieces here, they, they aren't my own photography, but uh, if you look at uh, sales papers where you have uh, coupons and such, uh, I cut out uh, some of the items in particular, especially uh, buckets of paint, uh, rollers, uh, brushes, and such, just to uh, complete the picture, so to speak. All right, finally, uh, the two pieces behind me. Uh, to my right, uh, this is Main Street. And again, it's another piece where I take some elements from downtown Jacksonville and also add in buildings and uh, infrastructure I would like to see in the future. And to my, to my left here is called, is downtown. And the inspiration for both pieces 
is that sometimes I'll see a person or a family walking on the street and you know you want to know what's the story behind them and I also like to use a very bright emotional color so to talk about downtown a little bit uh, I use a muted palette which is you take a bright color and you uh, add maybe a paints gray or a black to tone it down Main Street is sort of a, a happier piece with brighter colors and just like walk that uh, we talked about earlier it shows the different people are walking past each other but also I wanted to uh, show perhaps at some point in the future where Jacksonville were expanded and even uh, expand their uh, elevated train perhaps have uh, some more uh, skyscrapers in the background and to talk about technique uh, this one is more of an impressionist piece and so there's not a lot of detail in it but it's more of capturing the shape, capturing the light, and focusing more attention on uh, the people in the end. So in closing, I hope you enjoyed the Street Series retrospective. Uh, this is a body of work that took nearly 10 years to produce, and it's on display here at the FSCJ North Campus Art Gallery. Thank you.